Hey guys, it's Matt, channel 943 and in today's video I'm going to show you guys a new product I got actually for my layout, even though I will be demonstrating this on the KTMR Railroad, I did get this for my home layout, the PRR Keystone. But in any case, it's the Lionel Wi-Fi module, and with this you can run trains using a smart device such as an Apple iPod, which is what I have here. It's a really cool device, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and run some trains using this. I'll show you guys how to how to run a train and then we'll go ahead and run some trains a little bit later. So let's take a look what we got. Before I get going, I just want to give you guys one little tidbit of information. Is that with the Wi-Fi module, it links to your layout in one of two ways. The first way is that it can create its own Wi-Fi network that you pair your smart device to, and the Wi-Fi will link to this, which will in turn link to the legacy or the cab one L base. I don't know if this works for the original TMCC system. If anyone knows, I would like to know, but I only use Legacy, so I don't really have to worry about that. But all you're gonna do is gonna you're gonna go to the settings on your device and you're gonna make sure you got the Lionel LCS network on there. And then you're gonna go to the app. Now for Apple devices the app is called iCab and for Android devices the app is called Blue Train. Now I don't know how to link the blue train up to the Wi-Fi, so I can't use it yet, but I have had a lot of fun using the iCab app, so that's what we're going to use right now. So let's take a look. Okay, so now we're ready to link up to the iCab app and run some trains. Now you guys can see that the little green light on the Wi-Fi is flashing. That's meaning that it's waiting for a command to get sent to the base. So we're going to open up the iCab app and then the light will stop flashing right after it connects. So let's open up the app. It's going to connect, it's going to load the data, and then the lights stop flashing and we're all set. So let's take a look at the interface and then we'll talk about running trains off this app. Okay, so once connected, the first thing you'll see is you'll see a little green link icon right at the top. That's telling you that you're connected to the Wi-Fi module. And then we have these all these buttons here we have the speed graph we have the engine the train the routes and the switch buttons for control now the TR that's for your trains like your lash ups and stuff some of the buttons we have we got the horn now this is a quillable horn and I'll demonstrate this in just a minute it's a really cool quillable horn we got the bell the couplers brake and boost reset, halt, direction control, dialogue. If you click on this you get all the different crew talk features. Expert. Got the speed steps, the on off buttons for turning the locomotive on and off or train. The smoke controls, if you go to control, we got the volume controls, the RPMs or the EFX for steam engines low, medium, and high for the momentums, aux 2 to turn the lights on and off, the cab light button. If we go to program, this one here is for setting new IDs. Like let's say the engine that you got is brand new and you haven't even programmed it into the remote. You can use this to program it in. I haven't done this, so I don't know how it works. And if we go back to run, we're back to where we were. So now let's go ahead and grab a locomotive and take a look at how I run trains using this. Okay, so I grabbed the MKT E8s. I have done a review on these on my YouTube channel if you guys want to see it. They're great engines and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and run them using the iCab app. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. So to start, we're going to start by punching in the ID of the locomotive. In this case it's 13. So we're going to punch in 1, 3, and then we're going to hit enter. Now one thing before I do this is that you have a roster button. If you click on that, you can see all the engines. They're listed by the types, including diesel and steam. You can sort them by the ID number or by the local class, which that's pretty cool. If we go back to cab, we can run the train. And one more thing being the beeps these beeping sounds that you hear like this I can turn those off just by turning down the volume 
on the device. Anyways, let's take a look at running trains off this. Okay, so now we're ready to go. So to start our engine up, we're gonna hit the expert button and press and hold the power icon. Now just like with the legacy remote, if you press and hold on the on off buttons or the speed steps, you will get crew talk with them. So let's go ahead and press and hold and get going. This is a dispatcher, do you copy? Yes sir, loud and clear. Over. Very good, start up and hold. Roger that, start up and hold. Out. <laughs> Okay, so there we go, there's the startup. So now check out the horn. Now as I said, it is a quillable horn, and you can do it one of two ways. You can either quill the horn like this. Or you can just tap the different spots on the horn. We got the low horn, the medium horn, and the high horn in the different locations. So that's pretty cool there. Next, the bell. The couplers. And finally, the crew talk. One final thing being the RPM levels. Okay, so now that you've seen a look at how we run the train using the iCab app, let's go ahead and run the train. Well, anyway, guys, that about does it for this video. I have to say that the Wi-Fi module is really cool, and I think that it's a really cool piece to have for your railroad, or if you're in a club environment, that's even better because you can have up to 15 people off of one single Wi-Fi device. So you can have 15 people running off a phone or an Apple device or whatever, and main legacy sets. So you could have like 20 or 30 people running trains, each with their own remote, if you really wanted to.
but it's a pretty cool system and I'm very glad I got it. Now if you're interested in purchasing this, the retail price on the Wi-Fi module is right around $180, although if you go through a good line of dealer, you can probably get a little bit of a discount off that price. I got mine for about $130 from Grabowski. And I want to kind of weigh in on this for just a minute, just to say that I know that it is a little bit expensive, but you know what, considering what this can do, I think it's really cool. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm Matt, Trainer, and I'm 43. We'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.